Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. Do you see what I set up? I did it. It's set up, but it's not decorated yet. Not quite sure when I'm gonna get into that. And this tree we actually got from Walmart. Can't remember the brand of it now, but I will link it in my description box. This tree was only $79 and I love it. I bought one very similar to this a few years ago and it's what we used last year. If you go back in my December folder from last year, this is the very similar tree that we bought and decorated and I loved it. I love the size of it. It's only six and a half feet and I believe it's like 48 inches in diameter, but it is perfect if you have a small space it's flocked, it's pre-lit, it comes in three sections plus the little stand base. So easy to put it up. I carried the box in the house. Hubby didn't even help me set it up. It was, it's just pretty. It does need still a lot of um, fluffing up. I didn't do very much of that yet. And the flocking, it does make a mess because that's what flock trees do, but I absolutely love it. So just so easy and and it's nice. It's very nice quality. So yeah, I got that at Walmart. So I'll link it if you guys are interested. <clears throat> and here in a few days, I think I'm actually going to do a, um, like my favorites from Walmart and let you guys just see different things that I've picked up that I've absolutely loved and buy again and again. And it'll probably be coming here maybe in two or three days. I'm actually waiting for another sweater to come because I want to see how it fits compared to ones that I already bought and I'll let you know in that video. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what was in my thumbnail. They have all of these, they're not hamburger helper, it's just helper. All of these little individual serving mac and cheese containers. We actually tried one already because we picked up two of the same one thinking it was something different. And I believe it was the cheesy pizza, where is it? Which one is it? It was this one, it's bold cheesy pizza. We picked up two thinking it was different, that there were five flavors, but it wasn't. So we tried it and it's very good. And the Best Buy is April of 23 on this one. And you just add water and you microwave it. The directions are on the side. There's like a little line in there. You just fill it up, microwave it for, I don't even know, a few seconds, not long. And you let it stand and it makes a quick little easy mac and cheese. So we got these for us to try, but the kids as well, see what they think. And the flavors we picked up was Bold Cheesy Pizza, Bold Spicy Nacho, that sounds really interesting, Bold Pepper Jack Queso, and Bold Three Cheese. They're all bold. And I have no idea if there are other flavors or not, but these were the four that was in our store. So yeah, kids all love mac and cheese and they're, you know, they like trying different things as well. And I'm trying not to sit where that wreath is right above my head, but figured why not pick them up, you know, name brand $1.25, give them a try. And right beside those, they had these. And I think this is an excellent deal. This is the old El Paso brand. And these are these soft tortilla bowls and it, they're called buttery home style and you get eight flour tortillas in here. I don't know if you can see in there very well, but there's eight in here. I'm gonna pull, see if I can pull these out. They're a nice like oblong shape tortilla bowl. So me and hubby one night for supper, we're gonna have, we're just gonna make like, you know, hamburger meat, flavor it like taco seasoning, lettuce, tomato, whatever you wanna put on it, sour cream, cheese quick, easy little meal. I think that's great. We've never tried these before, but you know, we buy this brand in taco shells and tortillas and all that stuff all the time. So I'm hoping these are good. Did I say the best buy date? Let's see if I can find it quickly. Not quite sure where the best buy date is on this guys. Oh, there it is. Of course, it's right in my face. January of 23, but these will be used soon. And I don't know if they had other flavors or not of these. This was the only only thing we saw, the buttery home style. So interesting. A lot of name brand stuff they're coming out with at the store right now. Hubby picked up a few of these. He really likes these for a really quick little, he puts them in a wrap for lunch. 
And this one is the Clark, and it's called a spread, and this is the Devil's Deviled Ham. It's a 3.25 pull top. And then he picked up the chicken spread. So he likes having these on the shelf. I'm not a super big fan of these, but he likes them. And the best buy is something of 24. So super long shelf life on these. My Graham used to love this kind of stuff. I wish she'd have had the chance to meet, meet hubby because they would have just been like two peas in a pod. She would have loved him and he would have loved her. So I just picked up, I think he got two of each of those. And then they had the Spice Trader, the brown, great, brown gravy mix. There's three packets in here. I'm not sure I've tried this brand yet. I'm thinking that there was another brand in the store. Not quite sure about that, but I haven't tried this one yet. So I thought, why not? Give it a try. Put a beef roast you know, in the crock pot, sprinkle this over top, easy peasy meal. Open a can of veggies with it. So if you guys have tried this, let me know what your thoughts are on it. Because like I said, I've, I've never tried it. I don't think this brand, I think it was a different brand at the store. And the best buy on this is March of 24. Nice long shelf life. And then let me see, any more food? Just one more food item, guys. They had these, and these looked really different. They are albacore tuna in olive oil. And it's a 2.6 ounce like envelope pouch. It's a product of El Salvador. Best buy is March of 24. So I'm gonna give this a try. I love tuna, I love albacore tuna. So I actually picked this one up for me to give it a try. I mean, I'll share with hubby, of course, but looked interesting. If you guys have tried that, let me know. And it is by the company GenovaSeafood.com. If you guys have tried that, let me know. Pretty packaging though. <laughs> Easy peasy, throw it in your lunchbox. That was it for the food stuff. Hubby picked up his mouthwash. This is the kind that he always gets, either in the blue or the green. It doesn't really matter, but he picked up the blue this time. And it is by the Swan brand. And this is just called Mint Flavor. And it's 16.9 fluid ounces. He always has this on the shelf, and he was just about out. So he grabbed it. I use it too, of course, but I, I have mine that I get from Walmart. And then we grabbed some of these. We were going down the aisle and you could smell these little brooms the whole way down the aisle. And they're just a little broom. I don't even know what they're made from. They're called a scented broom. They're by Green Briar. I don't know what the broom is actually made from, but this is in the cinnamon scent. And then this one is in the pumpkin spice. And they do smell different. I love the cinnamon one, the pumpkin spice. I'm not a super big fan of the pumpkin spice spice one. It reminds me of a men's cologne for some reason. I mean, it has a little bit of the pumpkin spice scent, but it smells completely different than the cinnamon. <clears throat> but when we got these home, I brought the bags. It was yesterday, brought the bags of stuff back here and you know, from, from Dollar Tree. When I got up this morning, these things, smelled up the whole entire room. That's how strong these are. So I'm going to put these in the vehicle instead of putting them like here in the house somewhere. I'm going to use them for, for car air fresheners. They're strong. And I keep buying the, you know, the Dollar Tree car air fresheners and they're always such a dud. So these work. I mean, through the plastic wrap, you can smell them. And the cinnamon smells very, very nice. It's just that fall Christmas scent. I love it. And then picked up these. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. If they're going to go to one of the kids or if these will just be put in a bin for Toys for Tots for next Christmas. We delivered our Toys for Tots bins and they were very appreciative. I had three big, the biggest Dollar Tree bins that you could get. Those like foldable fabric type square bins. I had three of those heaping of stuff to take for Toys for Tots. So I was very happy with that. So for next Christmas, I want to try to get at least four. So I'm not quite sure where these will go yet, but 
They're little activity pads. This one is LOL Surprise, and it says it includes markers and stickers, and you can see the markers back here. It's a little pad with all types of little activities to do in it. I thought that was really cute, and it has the markers in there to go ahead and do it with. These are great little, um, little things to have to take with you if you're traveling in the car for the kids. And then this one is Paw Patrol, and it says Carry Along Adventure Pad includes markers and stickers, and they are both by the Benden Company. And it has the little, same thing, little activity book. I wanna see the stickers. Oh, the stickers are right on the front page. Really cute. And you get the one page of stickers. And that's the Paw Patrol. And then this one is the LOL. And those are the stickers with that. So cute. Our littlest grand lady, she has now switched from Cocoa Melon to Paw Patrol. Now she loves Paw Patrol. But this, this is way too advanced for her yet. And then both of our youngest grand ladies, the seven-year-old and the nine-year-old, both love LOL. So if London's watching this, she'll probably say, I want that. So picked up just one of each of those to have, and then they had a whole bunch of new nail polishes, a whole big display. And these are the LA Colors, and it's called Color Craze. And I thought these were really nice. I actually got these for myself. This one is a, um, let me see if I can show it very well. And Do they have colors on? This one is called Merlot. I love this color now at Christmas time. It's a very deep, shiny, wine merlot color so pretty this one does look like it has a little bit of frost to it and it also comes with little tiny nail files in different shapes so i'll grab the merlot and i always typically do it like an accent nail i got this color to go with it it's like a pink 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 shiny iridescent shimmer this one is called love sparks and it has the little star nail file and then I got this one in, it's like a mostly silver, but iridescent, iridescent um, glitter. And this one is called Stargazing, and it has a diamond-shaped nail file. And they, they had so many to choose from. I just grabbed the ones that I knew that I would use. And I actually like this LA Colors nail polish for when I'm, when I'm doing my own nails. I, um, these are just the Kiss brand, like I think they're called Nude French Tip. These are kind of my go-to when I just want to do a quick set. I think I got these at Family Dollar for like four bucks. But this is what I do, guys, for um, when I'm doing my own nails. This, I actually made myself a new thing the other day. This is actually one a dollar. All of this is from the Dollar Tree except the nails themselves. This is one of their rulers, their wooden rulers. And these are the little tiny wall hooks, the silver wall hooks. I just put 10 across on the ruler, cut the ruler off. And then I have, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well, but the blue is poster tack, the little sticky gummy poster tack. I put a little glob on each hook and then I put my artificial nail to it and then I could go ahead and paint my nails right on here and I don't get the mess all over my hand. I just go ahead, I paint them however I want, let them dry and then I have a, a just little plastic case from the Dollar Tree that I put the set of nails in and I always have nails made. Easy peasy little thing that everything is from the Dollar Tree. The nails themselves are from Sheen. These are the the pack of nails. I think there was 180 nail, nail forms in it. And then I did clip them down. They were too long for me. So I clipped them down and then just stuck them on here and I painted them white and then put some like pinky rosy glitter nail polish on it on the tips, just something different. And then whenever I want to, I can just go ahead and glue them on and easy set of nails for next to nothing. I just can't, I can't see going to the nail salon and getting my nails done all the time. I'm so hard on my nails and it, the price of them just keeps going up and up and up. You know, for a few dollars, I can do them myself. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and get something for lunch as normal. 
I hope you guys are all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.